hi I'm just doing an update video with the hazel saplings because some people might want to pre-order trees so just letting everyone know the stage of the saplings at the moment it's a bit difficult to count them since they still have leaves on it's difficult to count and check the sizing but I roughly measured the tallest of them and some smaller ones the tallest are in that box so at the moment you can see I mean this is one of the tallest ones in this box is the tallest in this box actually I think and it was roughly 95 centimeters I'm not sure how much that is in inches I did take pictures but yeah it's about 95 centimeters that's the measurement from the top of the soil not counting the root so the top of the soil up to to here to the tip of the leaf up to the tip of the sapling I mean another leaf so around 95 centimeters the ones above one meter are in that box but there's not many of them I'm still not sure if I'm gonna sell those or keep I'll probably keep a few maybe three or five for myself and sell the rest but most of them are around 50 60 centimeters I've measured I think this one and it had 51 centimeters of the, the wood chip base where the soil is basically here as you can see it's very very difficult to to measure them at the moment you can see some of them are thinner some are thicker so they still have ways to go as you can see these have very healthy green leaves on still so they will probably grow for a few more weeks until the end of October the ones that started yellowing are in this box I think this was the last one planted since it's a smaller box it has less soil compared to the massive box that this one is so these are, leave, are losing the leaves sooner they're smaller as well so for these are gonna be the cheaper saplings depending on, on the size as mentioned and yes the tallest ones as previously stated are in this box this one I measured and it had almost 110 105 just to be sure I don't want to give too high measurements just in case so yeah it's just slightly above one meter again counting not all the way from from the base because that would give much much higher number for the size but i think they're usually measured from the base of the soil from where they're emerging to the top you can see here so yeah these are nice thick saplings And again we have a box with smaller ones in here that are starting to lose their leaves sooner they're going dormant oh look at the beautiful leaf color i want to handle them too roughly because i don't want to damage them Hazel is great as I mentioned previously in my videos it's great for coppicing, it's great for nuts of course a great ornamental tree especially in winter when the, female, uh, the male flowers, the catkins, the long dangly bits are on the trees and they're also great for hedges, for creating habitat this hazel is one of my favorite trees <laughs> as you have probably noticed 
um, so that's why I'm growing so many of them although we don't have enough room to plant as many as I would have liked it's good because I, I can do this nursery and send lots of hazels into the world I'll show you here a bit more we are growing beautiful soil besides my cap my ceiling on the base so you can see the hazels in there Anyway, I don't want to bother them too much. They're still growing, still active. It's so awesome to look at them. It's almost incredible how they, they grew so much in one year from end of February. And we're now almost middle of October 2024. So. Trees are amazing, seeds are amazing. So yeah, if you're interested in trees, let me know. Um, people have already asked me for the tallest of them, so I'm not sure if I'll have many, many of them left, if at all. But for the smaller ones, which are about 50, 60 centimeters roughly, on average, some are smaller but on average they should be around 50-60 centimeters each uh, I should have uh, plenty left well I mean plenty, not that many <laughs> it's only the first year I'm doing the nursery so we don't have that many trees in total I will probably have under a thousand hazels more likely around 600 in total as mentioned before I will know more once the leaves drop and I'll know exactly, I'll be able to count them, look at the roots, see how, how healthy the roots are. I mean, they are healthy for sure, but yeah, it all depends on how thick the, the stems are because I don't want to sell too thin saplings. I might decide to grow those in the nursery for another year or give them for a much cheaper price, depending, depending on the size again. But... Um, I'm a, <laughs> I just want to keep some for ourselves in the garden, so yeah. But um, and another thing that we also have saplings of oak and elder. The oak oak ones are very small at the moment. Actually, I'll show you. Brief interruption. This is second year hazel grown straight into into the ground from cobnut. So. You can see, they grow very fast. This hasn't been very managed. I'll probably prune it to give it a nicer shape. But uh, hazels, in case you don't know, they can grow as a bush or as a small tree. They can get as tall as 10 meters, but uh, usually they're around 3-5 meters if kept as a tree. I personally want to keep them as bush, so I probably want to leave my trees to get taller than 2.5 meters. Because I want to be, I want to be able to pick the nuts and manage them. So yeah, obviously everyone can do whatever they like on their own trees. That's just my recommendation. Okay, let's go to the oak and the elder saplings. These are some of the oak saplings I mentioned, but as you can see, they're very small. So I'm probably gonna leave them into in the ground for at least another year. I just wanted to mention them in case people are interested in having a few um, it's just just so people are aware we do have some of these but um, yeah they're much smaller also because oak grows much much slower but it's it's a wonderful tree it provides habitat for uh, many many creatures most of which I do not even know I just know it provides habitat for many many creatures it's one of the best trees in the world. I love the leaves are so pretty. So yeah we have some here. Yeah look at the gooseberries and I just applied fresh mulch, fresh wood chips. These are the currants. We have some more oak here but again very small hence why I didn't mention that we have them for sale 
because I want to give saplings, I want to sell the best possible saplings I want them to make it well so people are pleased, they're not disappointed yeah, just growing from seeds, we planted them in the spring probably March, April, I'm not sure exactly and I'll show you the elder saplings as well the, which we grew from cuttings you can see here I might leave them for another year but again to give people an option to know they, they are also available we're still growing the soil here adding a lot of material so it becomes more fertile months ago we had one cap mushrooms growing here so yeah you can see more elders here we have some currants but those are for ourselves i will be growing lots more currants in the years to come hopefully fall as well because they are delicious and elder is uh, another great habitat tree it's good for ourselves as well if we want to process the berries and make syrup for colds and stuff like that yeah that the berries must be cooked anyway that's we're getting into many details <laughs> but uh, yeah I just wanted to let you know what we have so you have a more accurate viewing of the state of the nursery <laughs> look at the wee hazel there growing from a cob nut that probably someone planted there or maybe I did I can't remember I had some here but most in this bed were stolen <laughs> Just the ones in the boxes made it mostly these ones. They just some of them escaped They were forgotten by other creatures probably a brief look at the fig tree. Look how much this grew. It was only a, Maybe 10 inches 8 inches when we planted it Look at it. It's in its second year now looking beautiful Some more hazels planted in pots here I just wanted to show you something. I planted some hazels in our front garden and you can see we have three of them here planting probably to form a hedge in the future. Now I just wanted to mention as you can see this area doesn't have any mulch it's just the natural mulch if you can call it that the grasses and all the weeds growing at their base which is probably gonna stifle their growth a bit I'm probably gonna put more mulch, well, put mulch <laughs> when I'll find some more as uh, you saw earlier in the other area where the elders and the oaks were growing because this is a concern, I didn't apply any mulch for now because I'm thinking deer will browse around here and if they see it, because the mulch will, hi will highlight the area very well I thought uh, they will become very attractive and the deer might munch on the hazel so for now I left them in here maybe they are a bit more camouflaged I put some sticks in hopes that this will deter the, the deer but I don't know how, how efficient that will be my recommendation would be to put some sort of fencing if you are doing, doing a planting because otherwise the hazels will be totally munched I just put them here with little protection because we have quite a few hazels so in the worst case scenario if we lose them I'll plant new ones but yeah just wanted to, to show you how they're looking just as an idea look at this wee, wee not wee anymore it's a quite large current it was it grew from a cutting I think it was this little when I put it in the ground and look at it now and you can see the plum tree behind it why I mentioned the deer protection is required because I didn't put any any fence around the, the plum tree and a deer or more scratch themselves over of the, the trunk and caused quite a big damage luckily the tree is recovering you can see the bark here I was so sad when I saw it but luckily now it has this protection which is the bare minimum really but still better than what it had before 
so hopefully it will be okay for for now till we manage to put maybe a fence if we were put any but yeah definitely protect your trees if you can because otherwise you might regret it especially fruit trees can be quite expensive to plant and if we lose them you know it's quite sad so yeah the apple tree is doing really well i've been picking quite a few apples almost daily it had probably more than 50 apples it still has about 30 or so soon will come the time for pruning but until then we're enjoying the apples I'm sure the birds are enjoying them as well although i haven't seen many pecked which is good delicious apples you can see another current this is the pink one gloire du sablon with a lot of mulch at the base hopefully it will develop even more you can see there's a wee one it grew a little bit because it's in the shade so i put more mulch there it will develop currents grow amazing here we have a pear tree and other beings another pear and two currants newly freshly mulched as well another current again quite small from cutting it was in the shade as well and the other pear delicious variety of pear i do not know the name of unfortunately but it's delicious and look at the black currants we have two main bushes here there's a wee one there and look at this it grew this variety grows really tall it's called big ben it grows really tall not very wide so far anyway it's only the second year but it makes delicious currants you can have a look at my older videos you can see how black and quite large they are almost like a large size blueberry and here we have the vranja quince and the currants just a berry also i applied wood chips at their base treating the currants as if they are vegetables giving them rich rich mulch at the base so they can develop as best as they can in the given conditions this was a very small tree when he got it it was the smallest of the three because we had a plum a pear and the quince the quince was the smallest so this is the second year is not as big as other trees but it's doing really well hopefully it will withstand the strong winds we get here we'll see still growing in the shade here in time we'll probably cut this tree but for now it can stay there it protects the quince from strong winds i'll show you the see a cutting of the just a berry and the red currants here i'm gonna take lots of cuttings in the spring i can't wait i love red currants the rosetta they benefit from having mulch at their base i've mentioned it probably in previous videos but i'm, I'm gonna mention it again just in case people are new to the channel and watching my video for the first time when you're applying wood chips fresh or aged but especially fresh ones don't till don't till them into the soil just put them on top as if you're making a sandwich and you're layering them on a piece of bread just put it on top and you shouldn't have any issues uh, we have mycelium in contact with soil wine cap mycelium i'm not sure if it's going to be visible here depending on where i'm going to scrape but uh, yeah it's not exactly right visible right here but um it's underneath there and uh, yeah, as mentioned, if you're putting it on top, you shouldn't have any, any issues. And the bushes, you can see, it's just the second year and it's doing really well. Can't wait to take cuttings and propagate this variety. It's delicious. They look like jewels and they taste like delicious food. <laughs> like candy, but healthy candy. We have another small one there, I forgot which variety that one is because it was just a cutting as well. 
This one is a white Versailles, another delicious currant. I want to grow this more because it's absolutely delicious. I was really amazed how tasty the white currants are. Never expected that. It was a lovely surprise this year. So yeah, back to the hazel saplings. I was thinking to do just a quick update about the size of the hazels and all that, but I roughly did more stuff from the garden as you are able to see. So yes, please let me know as soon as you can, as soon as it's possible for you, because I'm not sure how, like I'm gonna give the hazels the way people ask for them, so I can't really keep them unless you mention it to me for sure so <laughs> yeah I'm really I can't wait to have a look at the, the hazel it's so exciting I wish I could just I mean, I'm glad they're still growing with the leaves but I, I'm so excited to see what's going on in there I mean I've seen other videos of other people but it's different when you grow your own trees you see how they grow under your hands come kind of <laughs> under your care Anyway, this video is getting really, <laughs> really long now, but I hope you found some useful information. If you have other questions, please leave your comments or message me, whatever is comfortable for you. So yeah, let's plant more trees, plant food forests. <laughs> They're going to be amazing for future generations, for ourselves, creating habitat and all sorts of amazing things. Can't wait. I hope to to expand the nursery next for next year depending on how well it will do this year but even regardless of how well it will do I'm gonna expand it one more thing can you think of what I'm gonna use these terracotta tiles for have a think I can't wait I cannot wait I'm so excited about the <laughs> upcoming season this one is not even finished yet can't wait. Uh, I'll be working on the book for the next few months after I'm done with the hazel saplings and sorting that. Uh, over the winter months I'll be working on the book which is titled Slice of Paradise, starting a food forest in tree nursery while, ex while exploring southwest Scotland. So look, uh, look for that if you're <laughs> watching this video in the, like who knows how many years since I filmed it. Look at this beautiful mulch. I'm gonna probably when the weather will get a bit more sunny, I'll be collecting these leaves and mulch several areas in the garden. These are not the best mulch. My favorite one is the wood chip mulch, but if there's nothing available. Wood, uh, leaves can be a great mulch because they blow in the wind. So if you have wood chips, you can put them on top of these, and that will create like a layer keep them down so they don't fly in the wind anyway very very long video <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it I'll leave you this view of the garden which is in the making at the moment as you can see front lawn and the garden take care have a lovely afternoon <laughs>